So that was Every Moment by Jodeci, and we'll get started. So we're in the key of uh, G minor, and let me just play out that scale for you very quickly, and then we can get started with the main lesson. So we have G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, and G. And the descending patterns, G, F, E flat, D, C, B flat, A, and G. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a little, little intro for the G minor scale. So uh, let's get started with the four chords. The chords that you hear that he, uh, Devante swing uh, play at the start of the song are going to repeat throughout the verse section and the rest of the song in terms of having uh, Casey's uh, verse uh, verses, I should say, uh, occur within the song. So the first chord is a G minor seventh. I can play G bass if you want, depending on the variation that you want to uh, go with. Essentially, G minor 7th is G, B, D, or B flat, D, F. G, B flat, D, and F. It sounds very nice on an actual piano. Next is F major. Inverted. Uh, but we're adding uh, a sus2, really or suspended with the G pattern or with the G note right here but essentially it's A, C, F, G, C, and F next is E flat 6, 9 E flat in the bass now you can play with just one octave in the bass can but it's really you're going to play an octave of E flat, E flat, E flat, G, C, and F, and then you shift over in your left hand uh, to the F sharp minor, or F sharp diminished, F sharp, F sharp, A, and C. Once again, G minor 7th, F sus 2, E flat 6 9 F sharp diminished now, so the pre-chorus chords are as follows um, simply put it's going to be D minor 7th to E flat major 7th so we have D F A C F A C that's the D minor 7th D F A C F A C and then the E flat major 7th, E flat G, B flat D, G, B flat and D. And once again, you're going to play uh, this two bar progression in total four times and then go over to a chorus. Now, the little uh, nuance that Devante adds is the A, B flat, F. Okay. 
So we play the D minor 7th. And then we hit the B flat right there. That tension's already bought up uh, at such a high intensity on the E flat uh, 7. We resolve it a little bit with the B flat while playing the fifth interval, and then we go into the chorus, which is a three bar progression. Uh, but going back, let's do a little rewind, a little recap of what we're playing. Uh, so the uh, chord progression for the verse in the intro, very quickly. G minor 7th, F sus 2, E flat, 6 9, F diminished. F diminished D minor to E flat and then we play the grace notes A B flat F Now the uh, chorus, <clears throat> the chord is for the chorus, uh, I'll play the chords and then we'll go into the actual uh, melody in the right hand. So it's simply going to be C minor, D minor, and then we have a little bass line run which I'll explain later. But essentially C minor to D minor 7th and then to G minor 7th. So these are all 7th chords that we're playing uh, for the majority of this song. But the chorus, really quickly, we have C minor, D minor 7th, and then G minor 7th. Now while that's playing in the left hand, or for the most part the bass pattern, uh, you're going to be playing a melody in the right hand, which goes as follows. So B flat to A to F, D, and F. And then down to D. But ultimately you can play either way because the chord that you're going to be playing in the left hand is going to end on a G minor 7th. So you can play it either way to be quite honest. But essentially the uh, melodic section is going to be going from B flat to A, to F, to D, to F, and D. And if you don't feel comfortable yet playing a melody and a bass pattern in the left hand, uh, that's fine. You can just play the chords uh, out as such. And it sounds just as pretty. Now, uh, adding in the left hand, uh, once we hit the B flat in the right hand, We hit the B flat and then we're going down to the D minor. Okay, one more time. So the A 
right here is the catalyst for a key or chord change, which is uh, the D minor 7th over to the rest of the G minor progression. One more time. Now, this progression you're going to play again. It's a kind of a four count or four uh, chord progression uh, in this entire chord sequence uh, for the chorus. Now, the, what I like about this is the bass line. It's pretty, pretty smooth. Now, the bass line, after you play the G minor 7th, we're walking up. So, the bass line that you're going to be playing is G, A, B flat to F in E flat. But it's not exactly that fast. Uh, he has a, a synth, synthesized bass, it sounds like. So if we uh, uh, play around with the settings, turn it down a little bit. That's the second part of the bass line. But I'm again transposing it to a synthesizer. It's not exactly what Devante's using, but that's uh, the gist of what's being played, and that's why I like it a lot. Uh, so going back to the actual piano. So when we add in the regular uh, chorus. And then the G minor. And then the second half of that bass pattern is B, C, D, F, and E flat. It's very smooth. So adding the bass chord with the melodic uh, bass run, it's as follows. And then we're back to the G minor uh, progression that we learned earlier. Or G minor to F sharp to E flat to F sharp diminished. <laughs> 